So one of the most important applications of the sum of a finite geometric sequence is in the computation of something that we call an, an annuity. An annuity is a sequence of equal periodic payments made into an account that pays interest. Specifically, when a fixed rate of compound interest applies to all payments, the sum of all the payments made plus all interest can be found by using the formula for the sum of a finite geometric sequence. The value of an annuity, also called the future value of an annuity, is the sum of all payments and interest. So to develop a formula for this, suppose that we invest P dollars into an account at the end of every year. And it has an interest rate of I percent compounded annually. So at the end of the first year, we've deposited our P dollars, and that's how much it's worth. And so our compound interest is going to be A equals P times 1 plus I raised to the T power. And this would tell us how much we get if the P just stayed the same and we were just increasing our interest each time. But we're making P additional payments. So at the end of this first year, we put P in. We put another P in, so the amount is equal to P, plus the P times 1 plus I. Well, so this is at the end of year 2. At the end of year 3, we have put in a new payment, plus a single payment at 1 plus I, plus another payment that's been available for two years. And this goes on and on, so that at t years, the amount is equal to p, plus a one-year interest, plus a two-year interest, all the way up to a t minus one-year interest. And if you look at this very closely, you may notice that we have the same thing being multiplied each time. So we have a repeated multiplication, and our amount is increasing. So this was a 1, and there's a hidden 1 plus i to the 0 here to start it off with. So the value of the annuity after t years is the sum of a geometric sequence with first term p, that's our first term, a common ratio of 1 plus i, and our sum can then be calculated as a is equal to the sum of n, which is equal to a1 times 1 plus r to the n, sorry, 1 minus r to the n, over 1 minus r. Well, we can replace the r and the n, so we get our p times 1 minus 1 minus i to the n all over 1 minus 1 minus i. 1 plus i, these should be pluses. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So now that that's the case, we can look at our denominator, notice that this is going to be equal to p times 1 minus 1 plus i to the nth power divided by 1 minus 1 minus i is a minus i minus that interest rate. And if we move the negative to the top and distribute it, this then is equal to p times 1 plus i to the n minus 1 divided by i. Well, we're almost happy with this. This is per year, but if we wanted to calculate it a little bit more, if we wanted to do it n times per year, all we need to do is change it around just a little bit. And so here's the formula that works if we adjust the formula to compound n times per year. So t now is the number of years. n is the times per year. 
and I is our interest rate, and P is our principal, how much we pay every year into the annuity. And so now that we have our formula, we're going to use it. And so let's suppose that we're looking at the following problem. An individual retirement account, or an IRA, is a common way to save money to provide funds for retirement. Suppose you make $1,500 payments into an IRA at the end of each year, and an annual interest rate of 4.5% per year. What is the value of this annuity after 35 years? Notice this is compounded annually. So and annually, the N is a 1, and so what we get is our amount is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to the NTI over N, there we go, minus 1 divided by I over N. Well, for this particular case, we're going to put 1,500, 1 plus R is point. 0.045, or our I, 4.405%, 4 raised all over 1, raised to the 1 times 35, minus 1, divided by 0.045 over 1. That should be green. So we get out a calculator. And we type this in, 1,500 times, parenthesis, parenthesis, 1 plus 0.045, close parenthesis, raised to the 1 times 35, close, minus 1, close, divided by 0.045, divided by 1, close that parenthesis, hit equal, and this will be worth... 122,244.98 dollars. So that's how much money we'll get 35 years after if we pay $1,500 into an IR kit into an IRA with an annual interest rate of 4.5 percent interest compounded annually. If we do this as an annuity, this is how much money we will.